I know that you don't like to talk about your life, but a guy with a freaking machete for an arm just chopped our butts in half. Who are you? Run it. On September 3rd, my father trained me to be an assassin. But that's not who I am. A Marvel legend. DJ Snake. Will rise. You got this. Thank you. You can't outrun your destiny. My name is Shang Chi. Shan Chi. Shang. Shan. Shang. Shan. S H A N G. Shang. That's what I said. Run it. Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Pretty PG-13. In theaters September 3rd. Who are you? Not who you think I am. I'm going back to the very beginning of the MCU. We have a keystone event, and that event is Tony Stark becoming Iron Man. He's forced to build these weapons for an organization, and that organization was the Ten Rings. And there was this wonderful character we really wanted to do something with someday, and that was Shang-Chi. When they announced us the movie, I was really, really excited. Kind of tongue-in-cheek, I ended up tweeting Marvel, hey, are we gonna talk or what? So I'm very glad I did that. He's so intense as this character. Shang-Chi was made for Simu, and I could feel his passion for it. The backstory of Shang is really unique, in that he discovered that his father was this evil overlord. The rings gave our family power. He's brought back into his father's world and has to deal with coming face to face with him again, and this is a much meaner and more hardened father. <laughs> And then crazy stuff happens after that. <laughs> it was time for you to take your place by my side. That's not gonna happen. My heart was definitely in this project. It feels in line with everything I believe in. And it is a crazy, wild, giant ride that we're gonna go on. Hold on, everybody! <laughs> family, legendary power, my son, now they call to you, I'm not who you think I am, Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, rated PG-13, if I die it's your fault, September 3rd.